Well, hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome. If this is your first time watching a video from me, welcome. If this is, if you've seen my other videos, great. So, what are we doing today? Well, today we're gonna play Solid Crafting. And I've been thinking about how to do this, how to do the recordings and all that fun stuff. So we're gonna get that out of the way and then we'll carry on with playing with the game. Um, I see a lot of potential in this game and it's it kind of it's kind of exciting. I kind of like the ideas that it presents. I like the flexibility that it has, kind of like the open world sandbox style. Really int it just interests me that way. I like the fact that you be able to build like villages and whatnot and actually have NPCs within these villages so it kind of gives you a reason to build villages not to mention as you build in the game you'll go further and further out for higher level resources therefore with higher level resources you'll find that you'll be able to transport or tra um, teleport between each of the places so yeah and as well, you know, it's the style, it's going to be unedited. I think I'm just going to edit the front, the back, you know, maybe some stuff in between. Hard to say. This first kind of go was kind of as long as it takes. So if this episode ends up being an hour, hopefully you'll come along for the ride, right? Grab your drinks and some tasty treats. You know, grab a sense of living Canada. It's going to be legal here soon. You grab a toke and yeah. Let's see what we can do with this game. Saw's crafting. So I I played just enough of the game to get an idea of, it, of of everything. So I'm just gonna delete my character here, and we're just gonna create a new thing. So basically, in this game, the characters in the worlds are independent. Uh, I do have some water here. It's one second. Yeah, it's gonna be very real. No editing. I just don't have time for editing. So we're going to create a new soul. We are going to, let's see here. Let's just do the usual. Now, <laughs> I've made mistakes and I've randomized things. So the reality is, is I don't care what my character looks like right now. There's going to be a lot of world wipes. And it's just, I don't want to have to redo it over and over. If you could do templates, I don't think there's templates. If you could do templates where you can kind of save templates and load them in, that would be appreciated. But yeah, let's just accept and begin journey. Uh, here we, I created this world just to see what it was like. We're going to nuke that world. Why not? June 25th, it's June 22nd. Or 7th? Yeah, June 27th, wow. Here we go, let's create a new world. I don't know. Let's just call it the date, man. That's how creative we are. There's no point. Seeds. Okay, I'm just going to click this a few times. And so if you want to have a world similar to this, there's just the seed. And here we go. Load. I might edit this part out. I don't know. We'll see how long it takes on my you know, computer. I should have a decent computer. I've turned up the graphics. At least as best as I've I can. Yeah, I've turned up the graphics. I've kind of minimized some things. I noticed there's hiccup on certain aspects, but I think it's just optimization and whatnot. So hopefully OBS is recording. I think it is. I had to kind of mess with the the settings, and hopefully it all works out. So what is Solace Crafting? Well, basically you start near a Solace. This is kind of zero zero. This is the, the beginning of the world, kind of center world. This will all make sense later. Uh, there's a map that, that that the guy added, which is great. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Let's just go and explore the game. So first things first, basically solaces can be used to store resources, which then you can extract. It's kind of like a bank, which then you can extract out your resources. Traveling, you can travel to other solaces if you have them built. Then you can also upgrade them, so that way then 
you can do population and you get light from killing monsters and whatnot so now there's an actual use in harvesting the creatures of this world so yeah i don't know <laughs> kind of cool the building is completely free form and uh it knows when you select existing structures so you go select new see it knows that this is an existing structure see core shard platform you can add on to this and build on to it and all that fun stuff so we'll definitely explore that and yeah amazing so you start naked this is great so we're gonna need some stone so let's go find us a stone deposit this game is pretty cool i hope visually it will improve so you can see all those little creatures in the distance you just sit there till you get close enough i think they do move at some point but uh, this game has skills and whatnot. If I go tab, you'll notice that there's adventuring skills. There's harvesting skills, right? So it tells you reaping, skinning, mining, logging, quarrying. We'll get into all that as we explore the game. And I'm, I'm not sure he's developed it too far with everything. Because when you click on all here for all the things that you want to be able to select. All the items. Shabam. This shows you everything you can craft, right? So basically, this is what it is forever. Now, I think there's a few things inside of these other benches, like the tailoring station and whatnot. There's kind of some expansion. So we're going to have to look into that. But yeah, so first things first is we need stone because if you notice in here, there's these stone tools. Um, I guess we could... Let's see if we go none and none. I'm glad that he added these on there. So let's go tools. And let's go all tools. Okay, so yes, yeah, so this is how we'll do that. So this is all the tools. So there's the stone and the metal. And that's the only kind of resources I think there are. There's also gems you can find which are used for like gem crafting and stuff. But yeah, anyways, we'll explore all of it. We're going to have a multi-faceted character. So I'm just pressing F to harvest. And you got the little thing on the bottom left hand corner. All it's doing. This is your typical MMO style stuff. Now you notice there's bars on the left. It looks like there's temperature, food and water. So we're gonna have to uh, find some water. So I'm just collecting a bunch of stone to make the hammer. Usually you really only need eight stone. And then we can just right away just make the, the hammer because that's kind of how you harvest more stone because it's coring. This is coring that we're doing, right? So we'll, we'll be able to expand on these, I think, just with the next resource with metal. Stone's very basic. It's kind of like Stone Age, right? And once you get into the Metal Age, it's a lot different. So it's a different kind of progression. So once that's crafted, you can actually go to your harvesting and see right here. This is where your tools go into. Shabam. Okay, look at that. Now you'll notice, see now I get two stone instead of one. Maybe sometimes I'll get three. So now I've just increased the size capacity of, of this. And so basically we, we want to exhaust these resources. I believe they do respawn. I'm just not sure what that level of respawn. I won't touch the metal until we get the stone pick. And you have to excuse my nose. I hope it doesn't pick up on the most part. But yeah, my nose. Um, it's allergy time. So it's summertime. It sucks. So excuse that. And let's see here. I'm just trying to look on the ground here. With all this grass, you'll find that there's cabbages, carrots. Oh, uh, hello, dude. Oh, look at that. What's this? It looks like a mushroom. I hope this is edible. So I just push F to harvest it. Let's see if it's edible. Just fullness. Okay. Uh, bam. Yeah, I guess it did it. I think it did it. I might throw some music into the background. I didn't realize there's no music. Let's kind of look in the settings here. No, there is music volume. But usually there is. Maybe eventually that comes in. I don't know. No. 
I might miss things too, so don't yell at the screen and all that fun stuff. It's just gonna be typical, you know, good old uh, unedited. What's this? Oh, here's cabbage. So you can kind of see them. They kind of blend in. <laughs> the mushrooms are pretty obvious. They're pretty obvious. This cabbage is though. Okay, there's a guy there again. Damn, I'm gonna need a sword. I think I can get like a stone club. That's another way of defense. So anyways, let's get the pick. So let's make a pick. I'm trying not to make too many because you want to make for um, a furnace. Is it a furnace? See, I like the all. I like seeing all the stuff. There is a forge. So that's 50 stone. So we only have 23 stone. I need to collect more. Need to eat some more of this. Eat some cabbage. Excellent. So we've got a water problem. I don't think it matters if we die in the game. I'm not sure what happens with all of that. Let's take a sip of my drink. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah, stone. Pickaxe. See, so many distractions, man. So many distractions. Stone pickaxe. This will allow us to harvest the metal better. You might as well... I always hit escape for some reason. And I like to click and drag in there. I, th I think you can like do something else with it. There we go. Now I get two ore. Instead of the one per you know, your fist. Yeah, and then as you progress further with the game, uh, you can create higher tiers of materials. So eventually in the game, you'll see these glowing thingies around different trees and whatnot. The further out you go, the more amount of them are visible, I believe. And yeah, and then there's these towers that exist. I don't know if those are all towers and if that's how many there are if so that's a lot we might have to investigate those oh man what? I'm just blindly running around here I was distracted by looking up there on the mountain it's like oh look how good that mountain looks and there's these obelisk th oh bears that's new are they hostile I hope not so there's these obelisk things that have creatures around them when you clear those, you get stuff out of it. Oh yeah, look at that, there's bears. Used to be just pigs in the game. So in the, uh, I, I haven't even read what the update are. Are. And my, my English, my grammar, might not be the best. It's just kind of hard. I'm still a noob at all of this, focusing and talking and gabbing, trying to fill in the void. Okay, I'm, I'm trying to look for food too. Might be missing it. But I know that the food is kind of rather difficult. There's a mushroom. I'm looking for creatures. Might as well be looking out for anything to hit you. I did turn up the mouse sensitivity before. This is stoned up. Oh, whoa, look at this, look at this. It's a leak. That's new. It's new. This is exciting. It's like playing a whole new game. And that's why I, I usually like to... Yeah, just play away. The series, if this, if this goes any further, this is for sure just one episode. And it'll be as, as long as it takes, which I mentioned. In about what 15 minutes so yeah and I, I tend to say that word a lot too <laughs> that's something I'm going to improve on but it's me personally that does so if you don't like it well you know the like X go somewhere else it doesn't matter if you want to watch what the game's about and this is it this is as exciting as it gets it's more of a peaceful game I'm going to collect some more stone here and then I'm going to create a forge and it makes metal and harvest some more metal here and we'll just go straight to metal stuff usually don't need to hang around the stone very long 
I don't think it's necessary. It's more un unnecessary. You want the metal weapons to go after the animals. So that way then the creatures attack, you can go after them as well. Because it's about the food as well. There is a survival aspect to it. I guess imagine, imagine you could just die and you'll probably kind of resurrect with a certain amount. But I don't know if that's viable. Let's see here. Let's go look at my inventory for food. Oh boy. Well, my fullness is going up. And this does hydration. Ah, uh, nice. Okay. Okay. Swish was more of that, but that's okay. We want this ore. And you'll notice the top right hand corner if I. Is there a way to disconnect the mouse? There is a way to disconnecting the mouse. And let's just hit escape. The top right hand corner tells you how many adventuring points I have and how many are unspent. We'll look at that when nighttime comes, because you'll see why nighttime gets very dark. You don't really see where the bad creatures are. So I don't, I, I don't, I tend not to go anywhere at night. At night, that's where you do your crafting. The day is more for harvesting. Also, what's cool on the hot bar there, you'll notice on the, the zero key there, on the right hand side of the, the, the toolbar, that is kind of like a return home so when you are tired of, of adventuring you want to just teleport back if you're bound to this solace here so whichever solace you're bound to you'll teleport to which is pretty damn cool yeah okay now we can craft our forge yeah i know i know higher up i'm just kind of scrolling through it all again i like to look through it because it's how i find things it's how i learn it too i just we'll have to build this enchanting table as well see if you go to higher tier you need a higher tier stone and i believe it's every five kilometers in the game is a tier something like that we'll have to explore that if i find the the video that the developer made made a really cool video in this game and it kind of like a lot of a lot of information was thrown into there about the game which explains everything about it which was just beautiful and so definitely you check that out i'll try and link it below if i remember that i know i would have talked about it because i kind of like linking things it's just kind of neat to see did i craft the forge no okay Forge, craft, let's go tier zero, does it, boom shakalaka, oh we need, uh, yeah, so I do need a stone axe, I was hoping I would get away from the stone axe, but we need wood to chop, or to smelt this, right, so, axe, go, stone, stone hatchet, use that, and off I go to, Pound on a tree, and again, C shift, uh, I shift click, right click. If you right click, it goes in there. So let's place this bad boy here. Let's place. See, now we have this little interface, and I get the hiccups there because the game just saved. <laughs> kind of frustrating, but it's all right. Sometimes I think it's my computer, and I'm just gonna just place it right there. You can, I, I can we pick this up? Yeah, we can pick it up again. And we can even upgrade it. It costs you resources, but yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool. And there's a trainer you can summon. So to smelt this stuff, we basically have to put in a combustible resource, which is a tree. Which means we have to run over here. Harvest a tree, have a drink. Ah. Yeah, F to harvest. I don't know. And this is what the game is. And then once once you get on a roll, it's always going to be about harvesting. It's always going to be about this aspect. I hope it remains that way. I enjoy this part of it. It's relaxing sitting here harvesting trees and harvesting the resources and managing the resources. It's really cool. Really cool.
kind of brings back the old school nature of certain games. And then the building, it's kind of exciting because you know you build the structures to be what you want. I have ideas, and I always have these cool ideas I want to do in, in all these different games that I'd like to play. Unfortunately, though, they're not finished. So, you just, so if I end up wiping something, this is why I record. Now you, uh, yeah, now you're gonna see how dark it gets. Uh, I might have to do some, some after editing. Oh, I hope I remember. <laughs> if I don't, I apologize. But it does get dark in the game, and I am playing on a cool ass. What is that over there? See, that's cool. See, nighttime. I don't know if it's a graphical glitch because of the sun, or if it's something else. But if it's there now, it will always be there. Which means that we'll get to it at some point. Imagine it's just the lighting system. So there's one way over there. Maybe they're red sparklies. Yeah, over there too. Or it's those creatures. Those guys, I think some guys have red eyes. Or maybe he added some new stuff. I don't know. What's that over there? Do you, you see that column over here? Oh yeah, it's those obelisks. Oh. Yeah, that's so cool. Look at that. The red pixels, there's green. Yeah, those must be the the sparklies. Just they don't render at this distance. It just renders pixels. It's so funny. Oh, look at that. Tons of food. And what do I want to do? Oh, yes, we chopped the tree down. Now let's do some smelting here. Check this out. It's always in run. If you press shift, it, it walks. I think there's a setting for that in the options. Not 100% sure. I think beds make time pass to daytime. But I'm not 100% sure on that. We're going to explore that. So now, what do we need to do? I need to smelt some of this. I believe you only need, uh, let's see, how can we, there's a way of only dropping one. Right click, oh yeah, right click. So if you pick up the stack with left click, let go, and then right click, you can do that. And I think it's just, bam. Okay, I'm gonna use this, I'm gonna eat, and then, we need to do some more crafting here. Let's take a look. Have boots, timber. Here, a sawing station. We need to make the the lumber, so that way we can make the other stuff. We do sawing station. I have to cra get more resources. Here, there's a bed. It's actually to need woodworking station. There's there are restrictions. <laughs> Gonna need more stone. We need to make this enchanting table. I could make a torch, ground torch. Let's do that. Let's make a ground torch and some lights here. That would help. See, this is what I mean. You make Bobby a smithing station. Oh, I actually didn't realize you needed that. Okay. So basically, now it would be the smithing station, which would be 20 metal and 10 lumber. That's why you need the lumber. So let's see here. We go place. Let's place this over here. You can rotate with. Oh, um, I want to say Q and E. No. Z and X. There we go. And we can position it kind of how we want. Just left click. Right. Everything. And in we go. Here we can do what? 10 logs. Perfect. Okay. And saw. Then we can right click to pick them up, which is kind of weird. I'm used to shift left clicking. Just in other games. And we have a torch to place. So let's place that over here. And that kind of lights things up a little bit. Yeah, it'd be, I think it'll be good in YouTube. You can still see out there. You're not completely blind. And 
it's not like a a fog kind of darkness it's just it, things kind of blend into each other at night with less light and I'm not sure if that will change it's all part of early access like very early access okay so we need to build the smithing station Shabam. and then we need to place now there might be some restrictions on these smithing stations like say you want to build a higher tier uh, item I'm not sure if you need a higher tier smithing station so if you do then that might be a problem so just place it right there that way you can kind of oh, la, 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 la. Excellent, excellent. 26 minutes, eh? I might end this at 30 minutes and then continue playing another 30 minute episode and just do it exactly what we're doing without any editing. Might work out pretty good. Yeah, okay. So let's make some metal stuff. I believe you don't even need to interact with it. I think you just need to be in range yeah now this is not red anymore really cool there's one slot so if you had gems you could place them in there and awesome awesome sauce I want a weapon first things first but the, the remaining one I want a short sword I like my swords craft Leveled up smithing, exciting. Then I want to make an hatch a hatchet. Oh, we actually need to make a pickaxe for more metal. I want to multiply that metal, right? And I think we are out. I have some more timber, so we can make a redding vat. I believe that's for like tanning and stuff. More lumber for stone cutting station, more metal, lumber, metal, lumber, <laughs> yeah, lumber, metal. So that's what we're going to work on next is those stations. So I guess the hatchet, so the pickaxe for the metal, and then we'll, 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 we'll do the hatchet. So now it's a metal one, I think. This is stone. See, now it's just level zero, tier zero pickaxe. Still looks the same graphic, uh, the same graphics. So you kind of have to watch. This one we could actually just drop. We don't need it anymore. Weapons going to the adventuring slots here, and there is kind of like a first and back. I'm not sure how to switch between these, but now you can have like your bow. And then you can have a shield and sword, which is really cool, really cool. I dig that. And let's see here. Harvesting. Okay, so time to get some more metal and some more wood. And maybe some stone. And it's nighttime. Excellent. I guess we'll end it here. Well, thank you, folks. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed this episode and my useless bantering, bantering of nonsense. Maybe one day we'll kind of tackle talk um, other topics, talk about other things while we play this game. And hopefully you want to see more of this game. You know, do the usual thumbs up, comment down below. Yeah. I don't know. No, YouTube's not where it's at for anything. The way I do it now is all through donations. There's a PayPal link on the YouTube channel. I'm going to definitely shamelessly plug that because everyone else does. But at least it's transparent. And if anyone does donate, then I'm going to do something in, in every video from that point forward. So in the beginning it could be maybe I'll build a house in this game 
for each donation. And based on the value of the donation, we'll determine the size of the structure. And there'll be content videos on creating that structure. Then we can template the structure. And I think there's a workshop a component, or at least there's plans to of, of, of being a workshop component. <clears throat> and so I think that would be pretty cool. Be pretty cool. And other than that, I look forward to seeing. Oh yeah, there's also been a bunch of new subscribers, and thank you for all the new subscribers. <laughs> if I wasn't so lazy, I would I would do something cool, like a banner of all the new subscribers. You know, thank you for subscribing. Yeah, but the reality is, is it's the eyeballs. So if anyone actually makes it to this part of the video, thank you. I commend you. You're one of the few because YouTube is YouTube and I know the stats. And yeah, maybe in the future I'll throw game keys and whatnot. You know, there's the the Steam Summer Sale. Some games get on for like a dollar, two dollars. So who knows? Who knows? That could be a thing. And but yeah, but and thank you everybody for watching and. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.